Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The air defense of Indian Army functions at three levels. The first one is gun or missile system, second one is medium range defense and third one is high or longer range air defense. In the first category, there are two types of air defense system which are air defense gun missile system and air defense self-propelled guns. The army is looking for guns in both the categories for which it has launched the SPAD JMS project or self-propelled air defense gun missile system project. In the medium range segment, army has already inducted Akash surface to air missile system and for the higher range it has MR SAM. Now talking about SPAD GMS, the project is a classic example of old defense procurement process that has always preferred to buy from foreign OEMs rather than building something indigenously. And as usual, the foreign OEMs playing around the requirement which has pushed the project into turbulence. The requirement of SPAD GMS started with a tender floated back in 2013 by Indian Army for which competition was primarily between Russia and South Korea. The tender was meant to replace 1360 obsolete Bofors L70 40mm single barrel gun and Soviet era Zu-23-2 towed 23mm twin barrel weapon system. The deal worth close to $3 billion and it all started with five bidders, however only Russia and South Korea could make it to the final trial stage. In response to this requirement, Russia had fielded two weapon systems, the upgraded Tunguska system by Almaz Ante and Panzer by KBP Tula, both failed to pass the technical rounds. The South Korean company Hanwha Defense had put forward hybrid Biho or K-30 Biho Flying Tiger system which was found to be not fully compliant but company had denied it. Russian had also complained to Ministry of Defense against South Korean system. Issues related to non-compliance of specifications in the RFP have been pointed out in several representations made by Russian side in various meetings. Russians have indicated that system offered is one generation older and will have to go and upgrade immediately. The major issues which was raised stated that South Korean air defense gun has no fire control radar. Also, it has offered 2D Doppler radar not in line with RFP and it is old and outdated. Because of these issues, the deal got stuck. On October 14, 2021, Indian Army issued a fresh request for proposal for 220 air defense gun and 1,41,576 rounds of ammunition to be procured under buy and make category of acquisition procedure. With this 25 guns and 44,440 rounds of ammunition would be procured under buy portion and remaining under make portion of the contract as per the RFP. The last date for submitting bid was January 6, 2022. DIDO has already built the radar and required electronics to guide the air defense gun. DRDO's lab LRD has developed an air defense fire control radar ADFCR, mounted on a 4x4 truck which works in conjunction with anti-aircraft guns forming a ground-based air defense system whose main purpose is effective point defense against aerial threats at short and very short ranges during day and night under all weather condition. The system consists of an X-band Active Array Antenna based 3D search radar, K-band tracking radar, electro-optical sensors for passive 2D tracking and LRF for radar independent ranging, gun control unit, power generator and a suitable equipped commander's cabin mounted on a single high mobility vehicle. This system is capable of controlling more than two guns simultaneously. Now as per some reports, the light tank platform being developed by DID and LNT will be offered for SPAD GMS program. However, there is no official confirmation from DIDO or CVRD on this. However, the possibility of the same cannot be denied as the joint venture of DIDO and LNT is also working on the prototype of light tank of 30 ton category and same track platform can be modified to develop air defense gun. 
since this development has gone indigenous route there are not many options here the last date for submitting bid to the rfp was january 6th so the possible contenders of this project would already have submitted their detailed specifications at the same time the prototype of drdo's light tank will be ready by next year which must be used as an opportunity by cvrd to commence the work on spad gms prototype this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector